Hello, it's Ralph Cabbage at Aqua and Knox. Today we're going to look at Awasa Vax. This company created the category and they have four models. They have a basic model and all the way up to the Pro. We're not messing with the three below. We're going straight to the Pro. I got a Pro team and we're going to go out and get muddy. Okay, we've got this outside and there's going to be a lot of background noise here because of the uh, interstate and all the water flow. We're at a, a pond store aquarium in Knoxville. The Pro model comes with a three-year warranty. So it's two years and then you register online and it's a two plus one for a three-year warranty. Another thing that's important to know is this unit can be used in swimming pools or ponds. So it says pool, vacuum, or pond. So you can use this in your hot tub or wherever if you keep it clean. And you can suck debris off the bottom. And you can see it here going off of a clean uh, swimming pool. Comes with all of these attachments, which we're going to go through and show. If you look, we've got the unit out of the box. And we'll go over what makes this totally different from a, uh, a shop vac. And that's what everybody wants to know. First thing, you can see that big beefy stainless steel motor and how it's actually mounted differently that is the pump that actually grabs debris and drains the unit and then the shop back back part of it if you will the suction part is at the top when you open the top you're going to want to take all this these supplies out this includes bags and media to filter the wheels to roll it and all the different parts and accessories we'll put that together here in a minute in addition, we've got the exhaust hose, another large mesh bag to catch leaves. And then what makes this the professional model is this seven and a half foot stainless steel um, suction nozzle. So you can actually clean the pond seven and a half feet deep, or you can get a long ways away from it, which is pretty interesting. We'll show it to you in a moment. And then of course the regular suction hose. So the first thing we're doing is we're hooking up the internal bag. So this is gonna catch your, your really large particles that might jam the pump. So it's gonna keep the pump from clogging. Now attaching the wheels, they just snap into place. Notice you have the holders for your wands when they're not in use. It comes apart in sections. And you can see the height of that wand. It's really large. Seven and a half feet. Nice. So the handle adjusts up or down. So you can, whatever's convenient and best as far as pulling it. And you even have a little hook right here for the wound up cord, which is nice. And now we're hooking up the outlet piece. And this is how you can, the pump will drain as you siphon out the sludge in the bottom of your pond. And that will connect to this. The outlet hose is just a twist lock. Seals with an O-ring. Okay, the white fine uh, net is what's used on your drain here. So you just put it around the drain and cinch up the tie strain. Okay, these are the nozzles that come with it. The first one will be the uh, surface cleaning nozzle for cleaning large smooth surfaces and you can see it has a brush and it would roll. This would be ideal for concrete pond or swimming pool. The next one is the wet suction nozzle for removing uh, dirtier or residual water for operation as a wet vacuum cleaner. Then the algae nozzle. So this is the algae nozzle for separating and removing string algae. The universal nozzle for removing pond sludge without vacuum, vacuuming up the pond gravel. So it's specifically designed to take that sludge out and not removing the gravel. And the brush nozzle for removing stubborn dirt. So those are the nozzles that come with it. Okay, your wire is 24 feet. Both the length of the suction 
hose in and out is 16 feet. You can go 16 feet away from the pond and you've got 16 feet away from the vac to the pond with this unit. So we've got the clear extension on here and it's gonna get loud. You can see how high we are on the ground, but this will let us reach that whole pond. And what'll happen is it'll start sucking up debris off the bottom. Then it'll fill up this chamber and then you'll see the pump on and I'll show you a shot of what's coming out from the discharge shows. We took off the um, net because there's, we don't care about the debris. It's just gonna go down in the drainage ditch. This is pretty straightforward and works very well. If you're just trying to clean off the bottom of the pond and get debris off, this would be excellent, you know, if you're not concerned about leaves. So you can get any type of sludge out of there and keep the pond maintained on a regular basis in short spurts instead of waiting until it gets terrible. You'd want to net big leaves off, but we're going to try sucking up some leaves in a minute and just see what it does. Okay. I know we have a lot of background noise here. We're close to an interstate, but you can see what's coming out of that pond. So this pump is a uh, debris removing pump and it'll kick on when it senses the back's getting full and just continue to drain the pond. So you can use this to actually drain the pond at the same time that you're cleaning. So how the gravel unit works is you have an adjustment. You can leave three to 12 millimeters. So just depending on where you dial it down, if you wanna take just sludge out of there, you can do that. If you know you've got a certain size gravel in the bottom you wanna keep, but you don't wanna keep the rest of it, you use this. We're gonna use it just to go a distance away and suck some stuff off a rock so you can see it. So you can see, we can take that right off the ledge. Just looking clean. You can see that silt coming right out. Okay, we're going to see if this can actually just suck up leaves, even though they're not in the pond, just to see how it works. Not sure this is how it's intended. I think it's mostly the silt back. We just want to see how it handles it and what it does inside of the unit, which we'll check in a moment. Okay, let's look inside of the unit and see what it did with those leaves and larger debris. It's got latches on the side, they're easy to open, and your handle's sturdy enough to pick it up. And then if you look inside, you have a net in here, and this net will be where your big leaves will be collected to keep it from clogging up the pump. Again, I don't think the intention of this unit is to suck up a lot of leaves. I think netting those out I think netting those out um, and using them uh, and getting them out in other ways is probably better. But if you do day-to-day -day cleaning of this or every, even every month, your pond's going to stay clean and this thing's going to help you. In summary, the Pond Vac 5 is an improvement over every generation of the Owasa Vacs. I think they've always made the best vac when the Classic came out all the way through the 5. The 5 is without question um, what I'm going to call a pro level, top quality. It gets an Aquaman Knox thumbs up and it is approved. I think this is the best vac you can buy. I'm taking it to my home. We've got a really large koi pond. We're going to use it all the time. And I think you're going to love it if you pull the trigger and get the unit.